kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, in this video, I am going to show you how to send the data from uh, Android to Android using TCP sockets. Okay. So, in my previous videos, I showed you how to send data from your Android phone to your laptop or PC using using TCP sockets. And in this video, I will show you how to send data from Android to Android. Okay. If you have two phones and you want to connect those uh, two phones, then how can you connect? Okay. So basically this is the idea okay so here we will have phone one and this will be the phone two okay and we will send the data from uh, one phone to another phone okay in the uh, same app okay let me write here same app all right so how can we do so here uh, this phone will have an ip address okay and it will also be running on a port number okay and similarly this phone uh, here we will also be running on an ip address and port number all right so let me show you how to send the data from your phone one to phone two okay so and here we will what we need is same wi-fi network okay both phones must be connected to the same Wi-Fi network so let's go back down to our Android studio and in here now okay so this phone will need this phone IP address okay so we take the IP address from the user so in here so we can take a plain text and this using this we will be able to take the IP address so for that we can say enter IP all right and after that we will have a button and also we will send uh, a data so here we can say that enter message all right and when the user clicks on the button send button and now the data will be sent to another app all right so for that what we can do here now we need to initialize our edit text e1 and e2 e1 is will be for a uh, IP address and it will be for the message so we can say even edit text find view by ID edit text find view by ID r dot ID dot edit text to all right and after that we will have a button public void button click all right guys so in our button click event we will uh, first of all we need to initialize our a new class so let's create the class here we can say class background task extend async string void and string and here we will override the method doing background all right now what we need is here we first of all we need a socket object and then we will need a data output stream object dos all right so now here what we need to do is first of all we need to get the ip address and the message so for that we can say string ip and message okay so here we simply can say ip equals to params 
0 and message equals to params 1 and now we can say that socket equals to new socket and here we will pass the IP and then we also need to pass the port number so port number we can say 9700 all right and so now they are saying that you need to uh, okay okay so we okay so that is the case and it is saying that you need to use the try catch block so we can use it all right and there you go so now we have this socket okay so now i also need to assign the data output stream so we can say dos equals to new data output stream and in here we can say s dot get output stream okay and after that we can say dos dot write utf okay so we will write and what we need to write is the message Robert, and finally we can say dos dot close and socket also we need to close that all right so that is it this is the way of connecting our uh, or uh, sending the data from one phone to another okay so here we can say we can say that background task new background task and we can send the dot execute and first of all we need to execute e1 dot get text dot to string and e2 dot get text dot to string all right this is the method uh, so we just need to use the on click method event button click and in our android manifest we need the internet permission and okay so we, we will be able to send the data but if you run the app so our application will crash because there is no application who is running on this ip address or port number okay so we need an app to run uh, and to listen for the sockets okay connections so for that we need to uh, create a server socket class here in our application okay in our previous video when i showed you that if you want to send the data from your android phone to the uh, swift uh, swing application i mean the java application so we created the server socket on to the uh, Java application yeah. but in, since we are uh, sending the data from one Android app to another so here we will use the I or I mean we will create the server socket here in our class so for that we need to create a class let's say it my server okay and we will implement runnable interface and in here we will uh, override the method run okay so here we will what we will do is we will uh, create the server socket class which will listen for the incoming messages okay so what we need to do is here we need to first of all use server socket okay then we need our own socket socket s and let's say my socket okay and we need data input stream also we need buffered reader okay and inside our run method we need to first of all we need access to the new server socket and this server socket will be listening on the ip uh, on the port number 9700 all right and since it is saying that we need to handle the exception so we can say all 
all right and after that what we can do is we can say while true so here we can say s or my socket equals to ss dot accept and then we will need to initialize our data input stream and assign it to our socket so we can say dis equals to new data input stream and in here we can say my socket dot get input stream and after that we here need uh, okay so we i guess don't need this buffered reader let's say if i need okay so we don't need this buffered reader instead that we receive the message okay and here we can say message equals to dis dot read utf all right and now we need to display the message so how can we display so we can say we need to use the handler new handler sorry all right and here we can say handler dot post new runnable and here we can toast our message get application context and in here we can say message received from client okay and here we can display the message it's very simple okay so that is it we have initialized our class I mean it is the uh, thread okay so we now need to initialize our thread here to activate it and it, then it will be listening to the server socket connections okay so here we can also say handler dot post new runnable and inside that we can say toast dot get mess uh, make text get application context and here we can say uh, waiting for client okay now we need to initialize that thread so we can how can we initialize it so here in our own create method we can say my server okay thread my thread equals to new thread and set that new my server and my thread dot start all right that is it so now let me connect my phone and let me show you a demo of let's see how our application works so in, since i have uh, one phone okay so what I will do is I will display the message inside my application okay otherwise we can use the two phones to display the message from one phone to another I hope you understand me alright guys so now our application is running let me okay let me first of all open the debug mode USB debugging okay so now we will be able to connect phone alright guys so now our application is running and you here you can see waiting for client so let me show you my IP address here okay so it is 192.168.10.39 okay so let me enter my IP .39 and I will enter the message hello server okay and if i click on send here you can see message received from client hello server 
okay if i write oh sorry how are you and if i click on send button here you can see message from client how are you okay so this is the way and also i want to show you okay so now if the client wants to open the i mean open the flash uh, led of the phone or open the camera okay so wh now what you can do here okay so you can okay so here you can check if message dot equals open camera opening camera on other device okay I'll see if message dot equals open gallery so we can say opening gallery on other device all right so let's run our application again okay so here let me enter the IP again and inside message we type open camera okay and if you click on send here okay so now the uh, app is crashed let's see where it crashed let's run it again okay so here we have this okay so yes we cannot print the message here so what we can do okay let's cut that and paste it inside here okay so now let's run our application and this time it will not crash the application crashed because we were uh, accessing the i mean the ui okay use in a, in a thread okay we cannot use the ui thread ui interface inside our thread so we need to use the handler to display our ui or update our ui so here you we can say 192.168.10.39 and in enter message so we can say open gallery and if we click on send here you can see opening gallery on other device okay so here what you can do you can write the code for opening the camera or here you can write the code for opening your gallery or anything all right guys so if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye